fourth graders, this is Mr. Moser. Um, just a quick little video for you to kind of help you go over the directions for this Rocket Angles computer little program that we're going to have you play today. Um, the directions are pretty easy, but as I was kind of messing with it, I found it easier to just kind of play with it and go through it than actually go through these directions. So if we look down here, you're going to see a little alien man, and then you're going to see a rocket. And the goal of the game is to find the angle between the rocket and the alien. And you want to measure the angle within one degree. So you can be like one degree off. So if the correct answer was 50 degrees and you said 51 degrees, that would still count as correct. And then there are 10 different aliens to find. So just kind of go through, practice using a protractor and practice getting that angle measure. So the directions are all here on that first page, but I'm gonna click the arrow and we're gonna go through a couple of examples together. So we can see my alien up here and we can see the rocket down here. And if I grab and hold, I can move this protractor. So the thing I wanna do is I'm gonna put that rocket right on the zero. I have it right there. And now I'm trying to find this angle. So remember from the video, even though it looks like it could be 130 degrees, we have to be able to tell this is an acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees. So we're gonna look on these inside numbers and it looks like that angle is 50 degrees. So I'm gonna type in 50. I'm gonna hit the answer. And the actual angle measure was 49. I said 50, so I was within one degree, so it counts. So I'm going to click the next one. Here's my alien. Here's my rocket. I'm going to grab and hold. I'm going to turn the protractor. I'm going to start my rocket on zero. Again, this looks like it's an acute angle, less than 90. So I wouldn't say 120 or 60. It looks, or I would say 60, not 120. So I'm going to say 60. See how close I was? Oh, and it looks like I missed that one. The actual angle was 58 and I said 60, so I was two off. We better try one more. Here's my alien here, here's my rocket. So I'm gonna turn my protractor. I'm gonna put it on zero. Again, it looks less. Oh, it's gonna give me another chance. I see 60, I'm gonna try 60 again. And that one I was right on. Actual angle was 60. I said 60, so I was correct. So just a quick little video that kind of helps you go over those directions. Go through all 10, practice using that protractor to measure the angles, and have a little bit of fun. Talk to you later.